Hello everyone. I am sick. It is Monday night. I have a video that has to go up tomorrow and the attention span of a gnat. So I don't think that's going to happen. Which, as usual, really sucks because I am super excited about the video that I was going to put up today and the one that I'm going to put up next week. And nope, I don't get to do that. Who gets a cold in the middle of summer? That doesn't happen. That's not supposed to happen. Ugh. But don't worry, I promise I'm okay. I'm just a bit of a sinus thing. Uh, the throat phase is past. I'm just tired. So today I get to live out every YouTuber's worst fear. Uh, not having a video the day before they're supposed to put it up, so I'm just gonna put up something. And this is that something. I'm gonna put up a video about being sick. Because maybe by the time winter rolls around, y'all will be sick, and it'll be useful. But for me, I get to live this reality right now. So here's how I cope with being sick. The number one thing you can do when you're sick is to just sleep. And I know that sounds really obvious and really basic, but seriously, don't stay up late, don't try to get up early, just let yourself sleep. My mother, for all of her faults, did come up with one really good idea when you're sick. So if you're like me, you love vapor rub and you use it every time you're sick, but it's disgusting and it's all over your chest and who the hell wants that? So my mother's big idea was to take a tissue, get some vapor rub and a glob in it, and then stuff that inside a pillowcase and then tie it in a knot so that it doesn't fall out. And she called this a sniffy because you sniff it you like sleep with it next to you like a stuffed animal and then you don't have to deal with all the grossness on your chest and it lasts like two days. You know, it's not a bad idea. Cough drops, use them, please. It helps your throat so much and it really doesn't hurt you in any way. I'm also somewhat partial to Mucinex just to break everything up, especially with the cold that I have right now, which is sort of a sinus central type thing. Uh, just break up everything and get all that mucus out. My next tip is uh, how to deal with nosebleeds because if you blow your nose as much as I do, you will bleed. So the key to me is to fold over the tissue a couple of times. You really want to have a nice soft tissue. You don't want to have like a one ply, like almost that paper towel, that public restroom paper towel material. You don't want that. You want something nice and soft. You ball it up, make kind of like a tampon shape, like, um, like kind of like a finger shape and you just stuff it right up your nose, that's the nostril that's bleeding, and just leave it in there for a few minutes. Then, once you're done bleeding, you take that out and you blow out the rest of the clot. My next tip is to keep the citrus flowing. You need all the vitamins that your body can get, and by similar logic, you want to keep the fluids going. Drink more than you normally would. Yeah, you'll have to pee every 10 minutes, but trust me, it's better. Because your body is using all of your fluids to make all that mucus, and you're coughing it all out, and you're breathing through your mouth instead of your nose, which dries out your mouth, and the whole works. <coughs> I'm not making this up. I really am sick. <laughs> My next tip is to use those nose strips that you use to like open up your nose when you're trying to sleep. It'll make it so much easier because if your sinuses ever do actually clear enough for you to be able to breathe through your nose, you'll be able to breathe through your nose. So much easier for you to be able to sleep breathing through your nose instead of, you know, drying out your mouth and your lips and your throat and the whole nine yards. My next seemingly obvious tip would be to take nice, long, hot showers. You really want to get that steam going. You want to clear everything out. My next tip, and I'm about to go do this myself, since as you can tell, I'm, I'm almost over this cold, is when you're done being sick, wash your sheets. Not just because it will be more likely that you won't spread it to your partner or something like that, but because when you're sick, like if you're like me, you sweat in your sleep, it's gross, your whole bed is just, it just feels gross. Even if it doesn't actually offer any real benefit, just being able to feel not as sick in a nice clean bed, wonderful, magic. My next tip is to buy uh, something like ChapStick. I use this particular brand called Camp for Ice, which is basically like, they use it for like skiing and you put it on your cheeks normally to prevent windburn. But the idea is that you want to keep your nose and your nostrils and your mouth from getting too chapped from all the like, constant rubbing of the tissues and everything and trust me it's just night and day because you don't get so much of that red nose look when you're done which is great if you're going to try to pass at work as not being sick which if you work in food please don't do i know they won't pay you for a time off but please don't get the rest of us sick my last tip is to keep around a bunch of junky ish 
but very mild snack foods because you're not really going to want to eat what you normally eat when you're sick. My personal recommendation is to have some crackers, some jello, some mandarin oranges like that in the suspension of the fluid or whatever. Just some, you know, some juice, something like that. Again, the idea here is that you want to go mild. You want to have very mild but somewhat useful foods in you. And you're not wasting money on flavor you can't possibly perceive when you can't smell anything or taste anything and everything is awful and you wish you could just get through the next three days without being conscious of them. And that is all for this week. I hope if any of you are sick that some of my tips might have helped you and I hope that none of you get sick, but it is a fact of being human. I'll be back again next week with a video that will be much, much more interesting. In the meantime, stay curious and try to avoid being sick. It's not fun.